Now joining me is a food and drink journalist, Andrew Webb, and Roger Protz from the Campaign for Real Ale. Gentlemen, it's good to have you on the programme tonight. Andrew, when is there ever a high time for a pub to close? Not in good taste, is it? I think they do need to update their business models a bit and realise that society's changed. Would you ever celebrate a pub closing? I wouldn't celebrate it, but if that person moved on and a new person came in and injected new ideas and responded to what the community needs, then that's a good thing. Roger, does Andrew have a valid point here? <clears throat> Not really, um, but let's let's talk about the good pub guide rather than what Andrew has said. I mean, they're, no, no, call let, let, well, okay, but they're calling for 4,000 right. pubs to close. They actually mm. want them to close, which is quite an astonishing thing for a, a pub guide to say. Now, that is a disaster for communities up and down the country, that a landlord well, often lives of on the premises. But none of that community is not using that pub. No, no, no. Who says? The Good Pub Guide is talking about what they call bad pubs. Now, who defines a bad pub? They're not saying failing pubs, they're saying bad pubs. And what they mean is pubs that aren't food-led, because they are a gastro-pub guide. Is that a bad pub, in your opinion, Andrew? Well, I think a, a food-led pub is a pub that's responding to what the community needs. And pubs that open themselves up and maybe do coffee in the morning and move throughout the day, you know, other businesses are failing on the high street, but other businesses are thriving. And people are looking to sort of the chain but restaurants. Those, those so-called bad pubs still have a purpose. They're still serving the community, aren't they? Just because they're not serving trendy food and have a nice decor, does they that are, matter? They are, and I'm not campaigning that all pubs should be gastro pubs, and, and, and that's what the debate seems to be framed as. But I think that uh, pubs that don't respond to change and don't develop... But they do. I don't know of an industry that responds to change more than the pub industry. It's so changed. why are these pubs going out of business, then? Ah, how about unfair supermarket competition? How about pub companies charging the most outrageous rents? There's a pub near me in Harpenden, which is a very successful food-led pub, which is packed up because Enterprise Inns have put the rent up to £75,000 a year. So the problem then isn't with the Good Food Guide's recommendations. The problem, and camera campaign on this, is, is the pub companies, right? Mm. That's not the fault of a book that just tells people where to go for something good to eat. It, so the problem is... is higher okay. up the chain. Lots of viewers' comments on this. Um, this is from uh, Sarah Lau, or James Barnett, excuse me, saying, times have changed, cultures have changed, policy of open all hours has harmed the old ways, and the smoking ban was the final nail in the coffin. Does that Can mean I just come back on the smoking ban? We've had it for six years now. You don't see people not taking trains because there's not a smoking carriage. Uh, other, other places, nightclubs aren't closing because of, because of the smoking ban. I think maybe with e-cigarettes, which, can you smoke those in okay. pubs? No, you can't. No. Roger, does Andrew have a, a, a point here? It's not just a smoking ban? Well, it's not just a smoking ban, but bear in mind that, as you say, pubs have opened all day for some years now. The licensing laws have changed. Pub companies and breweries are investing millions in pubs to bring them up to date. So it's not true that there's all these old-fashioned pubs around. The pub trade is modernising at a very fast okay. rate. Describe me your, to your, your perfect pub. Oh, perfect you go pub. First. Well, George Orwell tried that and he never found it. So, um, What does it have to have? It has to have. Quickly. It does have to have. <laughs> <laughs> not sticky carpets, not a fruit machine. Um, I think that it needs to have just good beer, good people, good yeah. customers. What would you say, good, Roger? Good pint of beer. Okay, and that's it. There's yeah. a success. Should we go for a pint? Yeah, sounds great. <laughs> we will now. Thank you very much for joining me tonight, gentlemen.